Water is fundamental for all life. One of the important properties of water is its polar nature. Today, we will talk about the polarity of water. Polarity means the separation of charges in a molecule leading into the formation of a positively charged end and a negatively charged end. A water molecule is formed by a combination of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. The hydrogen atom bonds to each oxygen atom with a pair of shared electrons. Overall, a water molecule has a neutral charge. However, because of the unequal arrangement of its electrons, the oxygen end is negative and the hydrogen end is positive, making water polar. The hydrogen and oxygen atoms within water molecules form polar covalent bonds. Now, what does this mean for us? As a result of water's polarity, water is attracted to other polar molecules and ions. Water's polarity allows it to dissolve other polar substances very easily. When a polar substance is put in water, the positive ends of its molecules are attracted to the negative ends of the water molecules and vice versa. The attractions cause the molecules of the new substance to be mixed uniformly with the water molecules. A polar substance that dissolves in water is referred to as hydrophilic. The ability of water to dissolve numerous substances is as a result of its polarity. Water dissolves more substances than any other liquid. Because of this, it is usually called the universal solvent. However, it is important to note that not all substances dissolve in water. Substances that are nonpolar, such as oils and fats, do not readily dissolve in water. These nonpolar compounds are called hydrophobic. For example, let's perform this experiment. Stir a teaspoon of salt in a glass of water. The salt dissolves in the water, however, when you stir a teaspoon of cooking oil in a glass of water, the oil does not dissolve in the water. In this case, the salt is a hydrophilic substance and the oil is the hydrophobic substance.